Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Thursday, May 6. This week, an audit and verification of the Federal Maritime Zone is being conducted in beaches and concession areas around Los Cabos to endorse the 22 blue flag certification in this municipality, starting in Cabo San Lucas and moving towards Cabo del Este. Similarly, the evaluation to renew the clean and sustainable beach titles in five emblematic beaches of the municipality of Los Cabos will be conducted May 17 to 22. The beaches that currently have blue flag distinctives are Acapulquito, Palmilla, El Corsario, Chileno, Surgidero, Hacienda, Rivera, Gaviota, Las Viudas, Santa Maria, and the beaches in front of 12 different hotels in Medano. This coming Saturday, May 8, bird watchers around the world will participate in Global Big Day, an annual celebration of the birds around you and everybody is invited to join. Here in Los Cabos, Organización Sicoma and the Network for the Protection of Sea Turtles is inviting all members of our community to join in on May 8 and help celebrate World Migratory Bird Day. Participating is easy. You can even be part of Global Big Day from home. If you can spare five or 10 minutes, report your bird observations to eBird online or download the free eBird mobile app. If you have more time, submit checklists of birds throughout the day. You never know what you might spot. Your observations help better understand global bird populations. Last year, more than 50,000 people from 175 countries submitted a staggering 120,000 checklists with eBird, setting a new world record for a single day of birding. You can bird watch from your home or by joining a local group in the community. If you're interested, the Network for the Protection of Sea Turtles and Organización Sicoma will start at 8.30 a.m. on May 8 with a traditional count of lease turns in the San José del Cabo estuary, and later they will visit different points of interest for bird watching. Binoculars, comfortable clothing that protects against the sun, tennis shoes or field boots, and water are required to participate. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Bello.